And Moonshot is just the beginning. You know, this is my genesis. It's my first, uh, you know, Web3 native album. And I mean, the alpha is that with music NFTs, the artist is the roadmap. I'd be making music without NFTs anyway. Uh, but with NFTs, you can invest in my career. You know, you can hold an asset that will grow in value as I grow as an artist and as I expand. So the goal is to continue making albums, you know, making music NFT albums. The next one should come uh, probably at the end of the year or early next year. It takes some time, of course. You just you, you, just, you have to do the music as well on top of the art and and everything. So it's definitely a delicate process. But, you know, my, my Genesis holders will get it for free, of course. And uh, we'll, we'll just continue like that. I'll just be making albums and maybe who knows, one day I'll have my own venue in the metaverse and play concerts for them and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Like this, these are my dreams. But um, yeah, we have a free mint for the holders coming at the end of August. There's a snapshot on August 22nd and mint the next day. If you have either five songs, ruby, silver or gold or nine frames, you, different kind, you get different kinds of things like a, an album with a, an NFT with a whole album attached to it. Let's say you only have one and it's a Ruby, one song. You want the, the full album, well, you're going to get it for free. So you have all the songs. Or if you have nine frames, you're going to get some legendaries as well. And there's going to be only about 20 because there's only 29 frame holders. So super rare. But yeah, I just want to keep giving to, you know, giving back to my community and continue, you know, doing this and book a tour and play for my holders and, you know, just just revolutionize music as much as I can. I love it. I love it. Uh, and, and that's been the coolest thing, V, is like you could have easily, and I really don't think it took you that long to sell it out. Well, okay, a month. Oh, oh, oh sorry. Goodness gracious. Um, but that's the thing. Like you could have sold it out and 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 disappeared and, and totally woman in the high castle. And I'm going to go make my, I'm making my music now. Sorry, I don't have time for you guys. And, 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 but, but you don't do that. And that's what I try to stress to um, everybody who shows up to spaces. Um, people like you, people uh, uh, like certain certain projects around, you don't have to be here. You, you don't, you know? And it's so awesome that you take your time to continue to build the space with the communities, with the people that should be pushing the project forward for you, but you just continue to show up and uh, consistently do it. So I think that's just so awesome. And uh, and man, oh man, it's, it's just been so cool. And you know, I'm a holder. My mom's a holder. Boy, they ain't going nowhere. They ain't ever going to the floor. They ain't probably ever going to be listed. So um, we're in for the long haul, and I can't wait uh, to see. Definitely, especially with like now COVID restrictions being loosened up and stuff. I know that was massive for uh, you not being IRL and stuff like that. So yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, before I get uh, before I get too windy, I got one more question that I ask every single guest, uh, and then. Since you, I don't know if you've seen the show before, I have the last segment. It is called Finish the Sentence for your letter. We'll ask you 10 sentences, uh, no hot seat, no time limit, but you uh, finish those sentences for your boy, and then uh, I'll get you out of here and get you on your space. Does sound like a plan? Perfect. All right. Yeah. All right. So last question, uh, and I ask this to every single, every single guest that comes on because there's so many different backstories, but chances are I've really found that if you're in the NFT space or a creator of any type, you've probably battled some adversity or if you're building anything of value, you've, you probably hit some roadblocks. So to that person trying to become a musician, trying to start a YouTube channel, trying to start a business or chasing a dream or passion that neither you or I know anything about, what's your number one piece of advice? Super high level. You don't have to get crazy in depth. You're not a psychologist. We all know, but for what, what helps you get through those moments, what's your number one piece of advice for that person? I would say it's just you have to really believe in what you're doing. Like if you fully understand it, you know, really understand it. And, you know, I've been through some moments where I was like, oh, what am I doing? Like, uh, is this like, is this legit? Like, am I selling something legit? You know, and when you have those doubts, uh, figure it out, like figure out whether you really think it's legit. Uh, and, and if you do, just keep doing you and, and keep doing it. And, you know, you also have, I mean, you know, not everyone has the motivation, you know, to keep going. And that's totally okay. You know, and sometimes that's better. If you don't feel like you have it, maybe find something else because you may end up just using your time and taking it away from something else. But if you do realize that it's really what you want, there's no reason why you're not going to make it. I mean, that's, I, it sounds stupid, simple, but yeah, it's what it is. So. No, 
It really is that simple. And I'm glad you said that. Just believe in you. And it and it proves that even stars up in bright lights, the amazing, wonderful, incredibly beautiful and talented Violetta Zeroni is also a human being. Can you guys believe that? She's also a human being too. And I love yeah. that you said believe in you because uh, there's, there's been some times that I've sat at this exact desk and said, what am I doing? Like, well, yeah, right. what's, what, what's point of this? Huh? <laughs> you know, why, why do I keep coming back? So I, uh, I, I so resonate with that. And, and thank you. Thank you for sharing that. And thank you for sharing everything you have so far today. I'm hoping maybe we get a little live, live song to close us out. We got that for yes. sure. Okay. Okay. For sure. All right. Well, with it being about 10 minutes till these questions usually take about five. I know your songs are usually roughly about five minutes long. So I, I think I'm, I mean, I am, it's like I do podcasts for a living or something, V. I don't know. It's like I know how to time things out. I, I have no idea. Okay. Who knows? Maybe I should pick up a job or something doing it. Who knows? All right. Last segment of the day. And Miss V joins us for it. Finish the sentence, V. All right. Ten sentences. Going to be about all types of stuff. Maybe about Moonshot. Maybe about Web3. Maybe about just the Lady V. We start with number one. My favorite song on the Moonshot album is Never Rarely, Sometimes Always. <sighs> Me too. I like that one a lot. I actually, no, Sugar. I got, I just, I got, obviously, it was the secret phrase of the day. Sugar's my fave, but Never Rarely, Sometimes Always is slept on. I do concur. Number two, my favorite song I've wrote outside of the Moonshot album is. It's called In Another Life, and I wrote it last week, and it's going to be in my next collection. Oh, oh, we just got we just got alpha outside of the alpha in another life. OK, that's that's going on the notepad. Shout out. Can't wait to listen to that. Sentence number three. Twitter spaces are. Uh, <laughs> a cult. <laughs> <laughs> I